We have to watch it because I think this is the one that everybody online saw after Candace went on the podcast. This is her and the girl who's wearing the Made in Hell shirt. It's so good. Okay. Why are you no, wearing a cross you on your neck? Are color coordinating with your neck? Because I don't see a cross as religious, so... Okay. Just Wait. like you don't see a marriage as religious. Marriage is acknowledged by the government. It doesn't matter if people see it as religious or not. They can, but they don't have to. The fact that it's recognized by the government means people who are not religious will have to deal with it. And that it's not going to be on religious terms. If it had only to do with the church, then of course I can understand your meaning there, Candace. But it's not. So see, I don't think don't that a marriage... Have a meaning. This is why it's like people are out of stage and people are like, what is a woman? Because they just go, well, we're going to oh. call it a marriage, but we're going to sleep with other people. We're going to bring in prostitutes. We're going to outsource raising the kids where we're never going to have kids you're calling it a family it's not a family and this is what it is they just the words have no meaning right i'm wearing the cross why i don't know. what is a woman is not a fair analogy because it has nothing to do with the laws and the government and marriage but i understand where you're coming out from i think the whole thing about what is a woman is stupid i think we all know what a woman is but what you're trying to do here is trying to make people care about marriage yes candace i agree with your earlier points about how you shouldn't be sleeping around and all the other stuff when you're in marriage it should be Monogamous, you should be with just that person. But you're equating too many things here, and they're not fitting. No, I don't. I don't think of it as religious. Okay, well, Jesus Christ died on the cross. Uh, yeah, that's just part of the story. Uh, Jesus is a fictitious character in a bad story that we called the Bible. Okay, we don't even know that he even existed. You think that? That's what you think. <laughs> Wait, it's that's been what proven. You think, so why are you not been proven at all that Jesus was a real person? No one, no historian living during Jesus's supposed lifetime ever wrote about him. So no, it has not been proven. It's just your religious bubbles keep reinforcing the idea that Jesus was real, Jesus was real, so you buy into it. But there's no reason to actually think that there's giving accurate information. You're wearing the cross. Sex because worker I think it's cute. Is I more... think that's what you think. Even if you are not a religious person, Jesus was a historical figure. No, he was not. You may think he was, but there's no reason to think he was actually existing. He's not an historical figure. If he was, then we would have something during his supposed lifetime where someone wrote about him. Everything that was used to write about Jesus was well after the fact. No one alive during a supposed lifetime wrote about him. And if you want to start grabbing analogies, well, this person wasn't written about, blah, 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 blah. We can do that all day and all night. The fact is, no one wrote about Jesus during a supposed lifetime. If we're supposed to just assume that he existed, right, just for the sake of arguing, well, then he's not a historical figure, is he? He's just an assumption. If you want to bring in other analogies of other people who weren't written during his time, well, those other people were not said to be gods or supernatural, can turn water into wine, and walk on water and all the other crazy stuff that was said in the Bible. Not quite the same. This is ridiculously funny that people think that he was historical, that he actually existed. And then you want to claim marriage as some sort of, well, it has to be religious. That's the whole point. It has to be religious. No, no, it's not. The government has to do with it. Yes, I give it to you that in a marriage, it should be monogamous. And I might even give to you that the cross should usually entail religion, but everyone wears it for different reasons. And, you know, it's become such commonplace that people can think, well, I've seen it so much, I like it. Like it i want to wear one myself that's fine to try to claim that well it has to be for religious reasons yeah i don't know about that i don't know yeah jesus was real because my mommy told me so is that